I'm Forrest Saunders at the state capitol. Those new Florida sanctions on Iran, as well as money to help bolster security at places like Jewish temples, that all getting the green light from Governor Ron DeSantis on Monday. More than a month after that initial Hamas attack in Israel spurred the ongoing war there, Florida's governor Monday putting his name on Florida's legislative response. The new laws prevent local governments from contracting with Iran, a supporter of Hamas in the past, and divest the state from any businesses connected to Iranian industries. Well, as I said last week, it's unfortunate we need this money at all. State Rep Randy Fine carried the second policy. It allots $45 million to harden security at Florida nonprofits facing the threat of hate crimes, in particular Jewish day schools or temples. This is just to keep people safe from the monsters that are around us. Um, and so I hope that it brings peace of mind to some of these Jewish families that are very scared right now. The other bills getting ink Monday offer more than $400 million for Hurricane Idalia recovery. And refill a grant program to harden homes against severe weather. Also, a shifting of state dollars to allow more students to access Florida's new universal school voucher program. State Rep Angie Nixon, meanwhile, felt lawmakers last week missed a chance to call for peace in the Middle East. What's wrong with saying that Palestinians and Muslims should have the opportunity to live healthy, prosperous, and safe? Like, I just don't understand what the problem is. On the House floor, Nixon offered a resolution backing a ceasefire. We are at 10,000 dead Palestinians. How many will be enough? It was resoundingly defeated, nabbing only two votes, hers included. But a week later, Nixon said she was undeterred. And it's very sad that people are ignoring just the humanity and folks, it's, it's absolutely disturbing and appalling, honestly. Now, each of these bills has its own rules and ways of working, but all of them take effect immediately with the governor's signature. That's the latest out here at the state capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.